excuse me, ladies, may I please? It's a nice read. I'm gonna enjoy it. No, thank you. You sure? Um, Let me ask you a question because you said no, thank you. Okay. Why would you say no to something that will potentially save your soul from going to hell? Because I don't believe something. <laughs> okay, if I was to say to you I don't believe in air because I don't see it. That's up to you. That's up to me. But do you say I'm, do you think would you think I'm crazy because I don't believe in air just because I don't see it? It's your opinion. It's my opinion, but the truth is, there is still air, alright? Sa sure. Same with hell. Many things you don't see that are there. Personally, I don't want you to go to hell. I don't know you, but I care about you because you have a soul in there. If you didn't have a soul, you'll, you'll not be sitting here. Your friend will not be here with you actually enjoying your McDonald's. The truth is, you're a sinner. Thank you. Th that's the truth. Well, you can say thank you, but it's not something to be proud of because one tiny teeny bit of lie can take you to hell just like 20 40 50 60 of different types of sin now to me what concerns me is hell is eternal you won't be happy if i was to take a lighter light it up and put it under your skin for 10 seconds and that is a specific amount of time that we can count 10 seconds now that pain you'll feel for 10 seconds Imagine that pain all over your whole body, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. The only way to avoid going to hell is this. The answer is in there, by the way, okay. is by trusting in Jesus. Just, you, I know you don't trust in Jesus, but the Bible says, he who does not trust in Jesus is already condemned. To me, I don't want you to be condemned because you trust this chair, you do trust this chair. And that's why you're seated on it. It's not dropping you, right? But was Jesus ever done for me that he didn't trust him? Well, number one, he died for you. Okay, another thing that Jesus gave you this morning is life. If Jesus did not want you to be alive this morning, you wouldn't be. Because some people slept healthy, strong, fit, but they never woke up. I can understand the concept of eternity. Mm -hmm. And I can not understand that. Because you don't probably understand what eternal life is all about. There is eternal life and eternal damnation. Would you be happy if I was to smack her in the face? You'd be concerned. Why? Because you have a sense of justice. You have a sense of what's right and what's wrong. Where do you get that? It's not from yourself. Absolutely no. Because if you, if you say so, eventually if experiences changes, You'll not be surprised if I smack them in the face because your experience has changed. Experiences do change, but the truth is, either experience changes or not, me smacking him in the face is still wrong. Now, you asked me a question about this Christian group and do they acknowledge LGBTQ? Look, I'm here to tell you about your soul. And the truth about LGBTQ, listen, the truth about LGBTQ is it will lead your soul to hell. And if let me, okay, let me, let, allow me to finish, allow me to finish, because this is important. Then I will be gay in hell. <laughs> but guess what? You think hell is going to be a place where... Think about this, many people tell me, yeah, I'll enjoy hell. I'm going to have some barbecues or have some beers with the devil. They tell me that, like you said, I'll be gay in hell, proudly saying that. But if you clearly understand what hell is like, you will not say I'll be proud to be a gay person in hell. No, I think I am gay. I'd rather be gay in hell than discriminatory. Let me ask you, okay, like okay, let me ask you five questions. Be honest with me. Okay. Are you going to be honest with me with these five questions? Depends on the questions. Simple questions. Okay. All, all I require is honesty. All right. Because if you ask me those questions, I'll be honest with you. All right. Have you ever told a lie in your life? All right. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? Yeah. Okay, cool. Have you ever used God's name in vain like, oh my? Nope. Okay. Have you ever taken something from somewhere or somebody, irrespective of its value, without permission? Pen, pencil, rubber, ruler, sweet, anything. Okay, we can skip that. Ha right? If there is a God, and this to give you justice when you die, do you think you'll be right with him? If there is a God. But now I'm using your logic because you don't believe in God. So I'm saying, if there is a God, wh wh which side do you think you'll be on with that God? 
The God who gave the Ten Commandments say, don't use my name in vain, don't lie, don't steal, don't look with lust, don't disobey your parents. If you are to meet him, would you be right with him? I mean, I probably feel like, well, you're a bit stupid if you up with all these rules. Okay. Every single person, listen to this, every single person walking down this street has broken at least one of God's, God's command. At least one. How do you know? How do I know? Because the Bible says, for all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible is no lying. You have sinned. What's the point? The point is, stop trusting in your own goodness. Stop saying, I'm a good person. I'm better than him or her or whoever. I'm a good person. I never said I was bigger than anything. Look, you I could be... Know I have to be that, that's to human standard. You're a good person to the human standard. But with God's standard, even myself standing here telling you about God, I'm not good. That's, and that's what I'm telling you, instead of you trusting yourself, trust in the risen saviour. But obviously I can't make you, I, obviously I can't make you trust him. So I can just pass to you the news and I will walk off. Maybe one day somebody else will come and pass the same news and they will walk off. And the more people keep on telling you about Jesus and the more you keep on rejecting him, the more you're saying, I'm open to hell. So you won't have one opportunity, you're going to have many. This is one, it's just one among many. Probably you're going to remember what I'm telling you when you're on your deathbed. Maybe. Um, maybe. Not. You see, probably not, but I'm saying maybe. All these things are possibility to me because I know God will take these words and put them inside your heart and inside your mind that you can't say, God, nobody ever told me about Jesus. Nobody will be left with no excuse. Anyway, thanks for your time. And thanks for your time as well. God bless you. And I hope you find God because he's true. You will. I, I mean, he already spoke to you today. Come on. It's not going to work, though. I hope not. Maybe it's a good reason. Thank you.